Hi guys, uh, my name is Will Buxton. Uh, normally I'm the Formula One pit reporter for NBC Sports here in the United States uh, and I do the commentary uh, internationally in the English language for GP2 and GP3 series. But this week I'm doing something uh, that I normally commentate on. I am getting behind the wheel of a racing car here in the Ferrari Florida Winter Series at Palm Beach. So I arrived on Friday night and the uh, first thing I had to do was on Saturday go into the workshop work on uh, getting a seat fitted and what was shown to me from the very first second of arriving here is that this whole course is, is not so much about competition it's about education so it's about setting personal goals it's about improving uh, on those personal goals each day to so spend a lot of time in the classroom spend a lot of time going through data looking at videos and not just your own but everybody that is out there on track with you so you're all learning together and everyone's got different objectives everyone's got different goals and your objectives are to, you know, to reach your goals each day, not necessarily to beat the guy next to you or the girl next to you on track, but to sort of to beat yourself and to, to raise your level with each passing session. First thing was to walk the track uh, with all the other drivers and really learn how the track differs to what we'd seen on the simulator and it's amazing how many differences there are, the camber in the corners that you don't pick up on the computer game. Um, and then the really serious bit, which was actually getting in the car and taking to the track. Now these guys, uh, whether they've been karting or competing in single seaters, have been doing this from about the age of five. Uh, I've been doing it for about five minutes. The Florida Winter Series affords its young drivers an awful lot of track time. Three hours of practice uh, the day before qualifying in the first race. That's more than you get in, I believe, any junior championship anywhere in the world. And it's a fantastic tool because it allows all of these drivers uh, the necessary experience to get out on track, make car changes, and really understand um, the changes that they're putting on the car. For me, though it was a massive learning curve from the very first second in the car, I spun a few times. Uh, luckily I didn't do any damage to the car. It's been an incredible experience. I've learned so much about things that I've been talking about for years as a journalist and as a commentator. I now know what the pressure feels like when you're sitting on the grid and the five lights go on uh, on the gantry above the start finish straight. I now know what it feels like to go wheel to wheel with other drivers. I know what it feels like when you have to go offline and you get rubbish all over your tires. I know the difference between new tires and old tires. I know what it feels like driving on slicks in the rain. Um, and I know the joy of crossing the, the finish line. 